Working with wood. So this is a small little headboard thing. I think I'm gonna go uh, and put uh, my bed in one of the ends of the, the bed just to hold it in place better and give me a little bit of storage. So I thought I'd let you guys know what this is. Uh, it's called a Craig uh, something. <laughs> K-R-E-G-G. -G. And what it does, it helps you make uh, cabinets. So what I'm doing is drilling little holes on an angle and they go in, they're gonna screw right into the bottom of this piece. I'll add glue on the joints and uh, yeah, it should be fine. What the heck did I do with that drill bit? You know I had it in here sometime. Anyways, uh, I'll get back to us when we're screwing it up, okay? I mean, screwing it. <laughs> Load up your special. They even give you one of these, which is amazing because it's super long. And. I bought this last year when I was um, going to build my upper cabinets in the Sprinter. I figured it would come in handy now. Check this out. Right? It's buried in there. Oh, that's supposed to be on the bottom. Oops. Let's try that again. Okay. That was kind of fun. But, uh, <laughs> you get the idea? See? Nice and clean. Okay, then it looks like everything gets hidden, right? Nice. Voila. I think we're close to being finished. What do you think? Okay. That's just to help the uh, bed stay in place. We'll put a lid on it. Just trying to figure that out now. Let's go see what the boys are doing in the shop. Let's see if they have a connector for my water lines. Teenagers are doing. Well, turns out they didn't have a, the connector I was looking for. I have to go for a walk, I guess. Anyways, let's get at it. Sorry, you guys. I've been at her. <laughs> I went down to uh, Home Hardware and grabbed uh, the connectors I needed. Excuse me. I actually got the water line connected. So I'll show you. Maybe this will look better. One, two, three. Bam! There we go. Yeah. So I have the water line up. I'm gonna put two water tanks right here, side by each. Easy accessible from the back door. Let's go have a look inside. By the magic of editing, we're inside. And here's my tap. Oh, so this is what I did. I don't like having power to the pump all the time. So I put on a pump, pressurizes it up and water when I'm done turn it off. when I need to empty the water in my gray, wa gray water tank I pull it out and I turn the valve and that will leak underneath the van what do you think <laughs> pretty tricky eh I'm just trying to figure out what I'm going to do with the box
check out the wood. Remember this stuff? This stuff used to be the cabinet that was inside. So we're just giving it a cut here and we're gonna put a hinge on it and bada bing, it's gonna be sexy. So that's a nice piece of wood, eh? We're gonna attach it to here. Voila. We put a little handle on it, maybe pretty it up. Oh, let's, let's do it the right way. Use a tape measure. Damn, that was close. Well, I was uh, filming uh, me screwing the lid on, but I forgot to hit play <laughs> or record. Here we go. Huh? Gonna look good, eh? Enough for this guy. Let's go check out the headboard. Excuse my messy bedroom and house. But hey, since it's round in the corner, I thought I'd leave it down there. But let me put a handle on here. Nope. Not Russian. They say it's morning time. Oh my goodness. I feel like crap. Ooh. Okay. Today, I think. Mark of the Painter Guy is showing up. He wants to check out the Bear's Den. So I better get up. Uh, trust me, I don't want to. Last couple mornings have been really stiff in my body. It just makes you just want to lie there and not, not get up, right? But. Push forward, Brent. That's what you need to do. <laughs> okay, let's get going. Anyways, let's go grab a coffee. Yes. Ah. Oh. Oh. Cheers. Nothing like morning coffee. And a little pain to wake you up in the morning. So I better get this place cleaned up. And uh, we'll move it down near the bear's den. I'm actually gonna make coffee. Should get a hold of my sister. Well, it turns out that uh, Mark has got a few things he needs to do over on the mainland. So he might catch the ferry tonight or tomorrow. Which just kind of gives me more time to get this place back together, which is cool. Okay, let's make some coffee. So, uh, <clears throat> I've been using the coffee machine in the shop so much that I almost forgot it was what it was like to make my own coffee. Now that's bad, but we boiled some water up and got the French press out. We're ready to pour. There's something about a, like a freshly brewed cup of coffee. So the plan today 
now that Mark's not coming, is I'm going to clean this place up, look at all nice and neat and tidy, and uh, try to figure out where everything goes and where everything has a place. We're going to travel to the south end of Nanaimo. I have another friend of mine that I haven't seen in a while. He's another Volkswagen guy. <laughs> I think he's only got one or two left. I think his son has one. I think he has one. Um, but yeah, I just got to say bye to him before I head across country. Um, and I'm helping another friend by driving him to the south end. So that's the plan today. But first of all, we got to take care of this. It's not that bad, eh? Keep reminding myself, I better call my sister. I need cushions to sit on. Well, close enough to drive anyway, so. I'm gonna go pick up a friend, give him a ride across town, get gas, blah, 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 and go visit a friend, so.